Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to play F7 chord. But before we do that, let's have a look at F7 and the similar chord which is C. So as you can see, this is F7 and the next to it is C chord. I'll give you a second to identify the similarities between these two chords. Can you see it? In C chord, make sure your guitar is tuned. In C chord, you hold, uh, you hold it like this. You put your first finger on B string first fret, second finger on D string second fret, third finger on A string third fret. And without disturbing this low E string, you play this C major like this. Okay, now holding your fingers onto the same position, you simply have to shift one string down. Now, can you see the similarity? One string down. But for playing F7, we need to have a fourth finger, our pinky finger into the play. So, we are going to put our pinky finger on B string 4th fret. This is going to be a bit of a stretch F7. So before you play this chord, if you are not used to it, then it's always better to stretch your palm a little bit, your fretting hand a little bit. You just stretch between your fingers so that you get the desired amount of stretching whenever you are putting your fingers onto the fretboard. Okay. All right, so first finger on high E string, first fret, second finger on um, G string, second fret, and third finger on uh, uh, D string, third fret. Okay, now we are going to put our pinky finger on B string, fourth fret. All the best. There is a buzzing sound. I have never played this chord actually, so I'm not very much used to it. But it is good to, it is always good to learn something new whenever it comes to music or writing or anything else. Make sure you do not play the upper two string, A and E strings, whenever you are playing F7. And this is how you play F7. As you can see that my fingers are pretty much stretched here, okay. But actually I feel good about it. You, and... Um, I am able to play this chord nicely only because I did the stretching beforehand, okay. So make sure that you stretch your fretting hand before playing any kind of chord which require all four fingers and they are on different frets, okay. So that is how my friends you play F7 chord. In the next video, we will learn how to play G7. Okay, stay tuned and I will see you in the next.